hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute owl so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two kinds of yarn the main color and the legs and the sides color and also you're gonna need a crochet hook uh, which is 3.5 millimeters so in my case I use 3.5 millimeters if you want a smaller owl you can use a smaller crochet hook or if you want a bigger one you can use a big crochet hook so let's get started okay so after that uh, in our 25th row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 40 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then increase and then you're going to keep repeating that so three single crochet and increase okay so keep repeating that all the way around until you get to the end okay so we're going to start with the head and uh, for the head we're going to start with the magic ring and then eight single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six seven Eight. okay and then I'm going to pull my yarn okay so after that uh, in our second row we are going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 16 stitches so I'm going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch And then I'll do the same in every stitch around. So I'm going to increase also in the next stitch. Okay, and then the same thing, increase. Okay, so continue increasing all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our third row, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so i'm going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and then i'm going to repeat that again so single crochet then increase Okay, so you're going to continue repeating that all the way around so single crochet increase so repeat until you get to the end of that row in our fourth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 32 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two then increase in the next stitch and then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and then repeat that again two single crochet and then increase Okay, so you're going to continue repeating that all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around until the end so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three then increase And then you're going to repeat that again single crochet one 
single crochet two single crochet three and then increase okay so you're going to continue repeating that all the way around until the end for a total of 40 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh in the next nine rows which is from row six until row 14 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 40 stitches in each row so i'll see when you're done with the 14th row so that we start the 15th row together okay so after the 14th row this is how it should look like so in our 15th row we are going to start decreasing and uh, we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 32 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so we're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the three loops together okay and then we're going to repeat that again so three single crochet and decrease so we're going to do one two three and then decrease again okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around until the end of this row okay so after that uh, in our 16th row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two and then decrease and then keep repeating that so two single crochet and then decrease okay so keep repeating that all the way until you finish this row Okay, so after that uh, in our 17th row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 16 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease and then repeat that again single crochet and decrease Okay, so keep repeating that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 18th row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 16 stitches. So do single crochet all the way and then we're going to start the uh, 19th row together. Okay, so before we continue, make sure you start uh, your work first because now we're going to start uh, on the body so as you can see I've already stuffed mine so in our 19th row we're going to do single crochet then uh, increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch And then repeat that again so single crochet and then increase okay so continue repeating that all the way around until you get here at the end okay so after you're done with uh, the 19th row in our 20th, uh, 20th and 21st row which is the next two rows you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 24 stitches so i'll see you when you're done with the 21st row so that we start the 22nd row together okay so after you're done with that uh in our 22nd row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 32 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch 
and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and then increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around until you get to the end okay so after you've done it that uh, in the next two rows which is row 23 and row 24 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 32 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 24th row so that we do the 25th row together okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next four rows which is from row 26 until row 29 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 40 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 29th row so that we start the 30th row together after you're done with that uh, in our 30th row we are going to start decreasing so we're going to start with three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 32 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease And then we're going to keep repeating that so three single crochet and then decrease okay so continue repeating that all the way around until the end of this row okay so after that uh, in our next row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two and then decrease and then keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease Okay, so repeat all the way around until the end okay so after that again in our 30 second row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet same like the previous row and then decrease again Okay, and then continue repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay so repeat that all the way around until the end okay so after that you're going to start stuffing as you can see i've already started stuffing uh, my body because we're only remaining with two rows Okay, so in our 33rd row, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet. Okay, so single crochet. And then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, and then repeat that again so single crochet and decrease so repeat all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that row make sure you start fully like the way I've done with mine and then after that uh, we're going to decrease in the last row we're going to decrease all the way around to the end for a total of 16 stitches okay so we're going to decrease and then also decrease again okay so decrease all the way around until the end okay so after you're done decreasing uh, you're going to cut off the yarn Okay, and then you're going to pull through 
and then to close the hole over here you're going to go uh, in the next stitch here and pull the yarn through and then continue doing that and pull the yarn through okay as you can see it's completely closed so after it's completely closed go anywhere here uh, in the doll in the body and then pull the yarn through like that and then cut it okay so as you can see uh, the finishing is pretty neat so that's how it should look like so after we're done with the head and the body now I'm going to show you how to make the eyes and the wings Okay, so the remaining parts are quite easy to make so we're going to start with the wings and for the wings we're going to start with the chain 11 so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and 11 okay so after we <coughs> after we do chain 11 we're going to start to the second uh, from the second chain from the hook so we're going to do half double crochet all the way around until the end okay so you're going to do half double crochet in the second chain Okay, and then you're going to repeat that across so half double crochet in the next chain two okay so continue doing half double crochet all the way across Okay, so you're going to continue until you get here at the end okay so when you get to the end uh, you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to turn your work and then when you turn your work you're going to skip the first stitch so we're going to start with that from the second stitch so we're going to continue doing half double crochet all the way across Okay, so you're going to continue doing half double crochet until you get here at the end. Okay, so once you get to the end, you're going again to do a chain one and then turn your work. And then after you do that, you're going to skip the first stitch and start from the second stitch. So you're going to do again half double crochet. Okay. So you're going to continue doing half double crochet all the way until the end when you get to the end do a chain one and then again skip the first stitch and continue like that so your work is going to be slanted so it's going to look something like this okay so like this all the way so when you're done uh you're going to have uh something that looks like this a tr small triangle when you're done, uh, you're going to use the yellow yarn or any other kind of yarn, uh, yarn and do single crochet all the way across around, okay, until the end. Okay, so I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So it depends on how many rows um, you want uh, for your wing, so you can make it shorter or longer. Okay, so after you're done with that, I'll explain how to make the eyes. Okay, so the eyes are also quite easy. So what I did is, uh, in the first row, you start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring. Then in the, in the second row, you increase all the way around for a total of 12 single crochet. And then uh, after that in the third row you're going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase all the way for a total of 18 
stitches and then you'll be done with the white part and then you're going to change to the yellow yarn and then after you change to the yellow yarn you're going to do single crochet all the way around in the fourth round which is the last round so you're going to have a total of 18 stitches in the last round and then uh, you'll be done with the eyes so after that i'll show you how to make the feet okay so for the feet uh we're going to start first with the magic ring and then we're going to do five single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five Okay, so after that uh, in our second row we're going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 10 stitches so we're going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochet okay and also we're going to increase the next stitch also so you're going to do two single crochet again Okay, and then you're going to increase all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next five rows which is from row three until row seven you're going to do single crochet in every row for a total of 10 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the seventh row so that we do the sixth row which is the last row together okay so after the seventh row this is how it looks like so in our last row, uh, we're go you're going to join the two uh, ends together. So you're going to flatten the whole feet and then we now we're going to work on both sides. Okay, so we're going to start uh, in the very first stitch that's here uh, that we began. Okay, so that we put our marker. So we're going to do single crochet in the very first stitch and also together on the other side. So you're going to do single crochet okay and then after you do first single crochet and the first stitch you're going to do a chain two so we're going to do chain one two okay and then in the next uh, stitch we are going to slip stitch so don't forget to do on both sides so we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch okay and then after we slip stitch uh, in the next stitch we're going to do three half double crochet in the same stitch so we're going to do half double crochet one and then in the same stitch we're going to do half double crochet two Half double crochet two it's a little bit tight okay and then we're going to do another half double crochet in the same stitch okay so and then after you're done with that uh, in the next stitch we're going to slip stitch Okay, and then uh, in the next stitch which is the last stitch and then we're going to do single crochet I have to make sure we do both sides so we're going to do single crochet and then uh, so we do single crochet we're going to do chain two so one two and then in the same stitch we're going to do single crochet Okay, so that's how it's gonna finish so for, to finish off I'm gonna go here in the next stitch and just slip stitch 
and then I'm gonna cut off my yarn. Okay, so this is how our feet looks like as you can see okay so now i'm going to show you how to join all the parts together okay so guys as you can see i finished attaching the parts together so uh for the eyes i just made sure they are uh between the face so close together okay like uh really close together and then also i embroidered the mouth here at the bottom uh of the between the eyes Okay, and then I use some safety eyes uh, in between the eyes that I crocheted also okay and also uh, for the wings as you can see I made sure uh, they are in line with the, the last part of the eyes uh, make sure they're in line with the wings and together with this other side so this is how it looks like and also on the other side and for the length for the legs also you put at the very bottom part and then um, you sew them here at the bottom okay so it's quite easy to sew the parts together or you can use the fabric uh, fabric glue if you have some and that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos so until next time bye